so you might think that was totally pointless and unnecessary but it's just that little bit of extra insurance that I feel better about I like um, putting that little bit of extra time into something like that so and I'm sure the video didn't pick it up but there were a couple areas where the boards actually got pulled a little bit tighter um, just helps out and was it needed probably definitely not <laughs> but yeah just makes me feel better so that's what I do to prep for these uh, bar top windows just look around at the framing does it need maybe a little bit of assistance? Um, can we make it just a touch better? Or is there something I can do to r reduce my chance of uh, needing to come into this home when it's finished? Okay, so this is our bar top window. They're actually gonna do some more framing out here. Um, this is really close to being level, but not as level as it needs to be. With a typical window, you can shim the ends and then you can shim, say there's a mall here and a mall here and it's got a three panel window. You shim under each of these and um, that's, that's all you need. But since this is a multi-slide window, it has to be fully supported all the way along or it's not gonna work right. So um, I'm gonna go through that process. I've got a laser set up back here. I double checked it with another laser. So I know I'm good. Um, always double check and yeah this end is just a little bit lower than this end so I need to raise that end up and make it flat all the way across so I've got my colored shims here and I set the laser a little bit up so that I can see it. I want to see if this, the outside is the same as the inside um, when I'm shimming along. I want to know that it's, it's not tilting one way or the other. And then I can just take a tape measure and see where I'm at as far as level. I haven't measured this yet. Let's see. So I've got, I live life in just a hair over or spot on perfect uh this is just a hair over one inch i measure there and this is just a hair over one and a sixteenth so a sixteenth inch difference um you may think that i'm crazy and right in the center here we're right at one and a sixteenth so this will probably get a little bit of tape and this will get an actual shim over here. So let's see if I take, I've got my black shims, which are quarter inch. I'm not gonna need those. So eighth inch shims, I'm not gonna need that. 16th inch shim. Hopefully the wind doesn't shake the camera too much. So let's see what we get here. So we were just a hair over one inch over there just a hair over one inch here. Just one hair. So I've got my, I like stretch tape. It's this is the, the zip system stretch tape. And I'm gonna grab a knife. And right here, right in the center. That was where we were right at one and a sixteenth. So that's where I'm gonna start. It's a bit windy and rainy today. Hopefully the camera's not shaking around. Go ahead and take a piece of that. Put it right in the middle here. This stuff is so sticky. That just has a little bit of thickness to it. And we are just a hair over one right there. Well, that looks really nice, actually. <laughs> Doesn't seem like I'm gonna have to do too much here. Uh, well, actually got quite a lot of light showing through it's like right in the corner is high but then this whole section is a bit low there 
And then this right here, I don't have any light showing through there. But then I start getting some light showing through over here. So we'll take another piece of our tape. I wish we got, well, I don't wish. I'm happy we're not using more shims, but the color, the shim color is fun. I'll just get them on Amazon. They're not too expensive, well worth it. So, it's actually raining decently now. I'm a bit worried about the camera. It's kind of starting to pour. <laughs> So if this is recording and it's still good, this is actually a, a good example of, like it's, it's pouring and uh, we're totally dry here. So I'm gonna worry about flashing this and we don't want like drinks spilled into the track. But um, as far as storms go, uh, really not too concerned about it. But we will seal it up properly. So that looks pretty good. I actually think I'd like to take a little bit of this tape. My knife blade's terrible. Put it right here. Match those 16th inch shims. Yeah, there we go. So now I just want to work over here. So I want to see if that corner is a little bit high, the very edge where my level's sitting. And it is not, it's not just a little bit high. So then we see Make sure I'm not sitting on a little wood chip. Let's see if a, another a blue shim will fit in here anywhere. Ah, looks like it might fit. Yeah, we've got one right here. So we've got a blue shim there. I would be a little bit surprised if I don't get more in here. Let's see. Start setting them here and see what it see what it turns out like. This last set is too much. I definitely. Uh, actually, I might. Get one, right, one set right there. I didn't think I was going to get a set there. Yeah, a little too much. Yeah, a little too much. I'm just, I'm looking for light to shine through under the level. Obviously I'm gonna get light in between the shims. Looking for light around the boards there. So we'll put another piece of tape there, another piece of tape here, and we'll probably be done after that.
more. It's like I'm cooking with Martha Stewart. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Okay, I think I might need to cut the very end of that piece of tape off, but. Yeah, yep, I can cut it off. I added just a little too much salt. Not gonna work. It's still a little too much. Definitely looks good. I'm going to add just a little bit right here. So the important thing with this is, is that uh, it's totally flat all the way across. As the rollers go along, if this spot, it's not as critical with a five foot tall window, but if you're talking an eight foot tall or 10 foot or 11 foot or 12 foot tall door or nine feet, when you start getting taller and the panels start getting thinner, that difference, if you have a 16th of an inch here and it's a 16th of an inch difference from here, that panel, you can, you can adjust the rollers here, but then how does it look over here? Because it, it works right here, but then it's not gonna work here. So if this is off by a 16th of an inch from, from this spot here, that's a two foot span. And when you're talking eight feet tall, a 16th of an inch, follow me here, a 16th of an inch over two feet, multiply that by four to get to eight. Two plus two plus two plus two gets you to eight. That 16th of an inch gets multiplied four times. So that 16th of an inch difference right here becomes a quarter of an inch difference in reveal up here. And then if you're a 16th of an inch weirdly off over here, who knows what's gonna happen. So having it perfectly flat is really the only way to make these multi-slide doors and windows function properly. So I got to use some more colored shims, it's all blue. But that's my video on shimming and uh, it's still raining. Hopefully you enjoyed my cooking class. <laughs>